morning is not a greeting but a prayer because the goodness and mercies of God are new every morning the blessings and mercies of God are fresh every morning so every morning is a fresh dose of God's blessings God's mercies and God's goodness good morning is a disconnection from sickness and a connection to good health good morning is a disconnection from the, from oppression and a connection to freedom good morning is a disconnection from setback and a connection to breakthrough good morning is a disconnection from trouble and a connection to solution people of god i say good morning to your life in the name of jesus good morning to your health in the name of jesus good morning to your destiny in the name of jesus good morning to your finances in the name of jesus good morning to your future and everything that has to do with you good morning in the mighty name of jesus christ light of hope tv bringing hope the anchor of our soul good morning yes hello everyone good morning and win today yes viewers all over the world i welcome you i greet you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ and the sweet fellowship of the holy Spirit. yes your brother your friend the lord evangelist nelson and i welcome you all today to our daily devotional program good morning yes hallelujah it is time for us to go into god's word it is time for us to discover what god has to say to us it is time for us to splash around in the word discovering what god has to say his mercies his goodness his love his strength his presence in our heart his plans and his promises upon our lives so viewers all over the world wherever you are let us grab our bibles the uncommon type of book that requires an uncommon sort of reading the book that reads us even as we read it that is why you must read slowly repeatedly attentively because the word the, the, the book you read is reading you the book you read is transforming you the book you read is correcting all that needs correction in your life <clears throat> that is why it must be done slowly because you are reading the book the book is reading you you are studying the book the book is studying you you are you are you are reading the book the book is transforming your life not just informing hallelujah so viewers all over the world grab your bibles let us go into our reading today and discover what god has to say concerning you concerning me concerning our situation god bless you as we go into our holy word today so today our reading will be taken from the book of first samuel first samuel is in the old testament um just after the book of judges just after the book of roots okay after the book of roots is the book of first samuel so we'll be reading 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 22. 1 Samuel 15 verse 22. And I read, are you there? Let's go. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in bond offerings and sacrifices? as much as in obeying the voice of the Lord, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fats of rams. Hallelujah. To heed is better than the fats of ram. We know that in those days, the fats of ram in sacrifice gives a pleasing aroma in the presence of God, a smell, uh, the the sacrifice of pleasing aroma burnt fats of ram 
okay, during sacrifice to appease or to please or to sacrifice to God. But now Samuel is saying that to obey God is better than sacrifice, is better than the fats of rams, is better than bonds offering, is better than your sacrifice, your sacrifice of time, of commitment, your sacrifice of labor. He said to heed the voice of God, to obey the voice, to respond, to act on the word is better than the sacrifices. Hallelujah. To obey is better than sacrifice. That is why my mentor, Dr. Timothy Joshua, says, he said, Christianity is not about the work we do, but the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by that relationship. It is not the work you do, but the relationship you maintain. Not the relationship you have, the relationship you maintain. That is constantly consistency consists constantly maintaining and striving to keep that maintain that relationship with jesus christianity is not about the work you do it is not the work the work you do can be referred to your sacrifice your labor of love your sacrifices your time your physical labor your finances your bond offerings your 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 offerings and then you batting away with your gifts, giving to the poor, giving to the needy, giving to this, sponsoring God's work, give blessing the church, giving your time, being a worker in the house of God, one way or the other. He said to heed is better than sacrifice. Christianity is not about the work you do in the church, the work you do as an evangelist, the work you do as usher, as chorister, as a sanitation, as security, or whatever, as instrumentalist, or whatever your commitment you do in the church, or your work of charity, of giving charitably to God's project. But Christianity is about the relationship you maintain. Hallelujah. Take note of that. Maintain us. Of your relationship with Jesus. It is not about the work you do. Hallelujah. But the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by that relationship. The Bible makes us to understand that obedience to God's word is the only proof of your faith in Him. Obedience to His word. Obedient to his will is the only proof of your faith, your believing, your confessing in Christ Jesus. To obey his word is the proof that you trust in him. When you trust him, you will obey him. Trust and obey. Trust comes first. Obedience. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Hallelujah. The only way that you can prove your faith that you totally depend on God, you live by Him, you live by His Word, is the obedience to His Word, not the work you do. The only proof of your faith, of your dependability, of your reliability, of your trust in Him, is the obedience to His will, is the obedience to His Word. The Bible says, God testified about David. He said, I find David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. Hallelujah. In other words, David's obedience to God's voice and his command and his instruction made him a man after God's own heart. Hallelujah. Made him a man after God's own heart. Not seeking God's hand, but seeking God's face. Hallelujah. The Bible says by obedience, Abraham secured the promise of God. Hallelujah. He said it was regarded, it was, it was credited. See, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Hallelujah. He believed God by sacrificing his son. Obedience to God's command 
it is not the sacrifice that God is looking for, but the obedience to his will, even when it's unpleasant to him, that was what was credited as righteousness to him. That is why today Abraham is the father of faith. His proof of his faith was his obedience to God's command, even when that instruction is contrary to what he naturally wants to do. Even when that instruction contradicts his natural belief or his desire. Hallelujah. So Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. David, a man after God's own heart, God testified that he would do everything I ask him to do. That is, this men were regarded as men of faith because of their obedience to God's will, to God's word, to God's instruction. Brethren in the Lord, the only way you can prove your faith, the only proof of your faith is the obedience to his word. The only proof of your faith is the obedience to his will. The only proof to your faith is the obedience to his instruction, which is in his word. It is not the waving of hands in worship without thorough reformation of heart and life. It is not the prayer and fasting without thorough reformation of heart and life. It is not the work you do in the house, cleaning the chairs, mopping it to the floor, doing usher, singing, or doing one or two in the house of God. But it is the obedience that makes you who you are before God. Because that is the proof of your faith in Jesus. That is the proof of your faith in God. That is the proof of your faith in Him. Any day, any time, your faith is proved by your believing by your confessing, by your acting on God's word. So, brethren in the Lord, what we are saying is the only way to get what you want, the only way to get to God's heart is through his word, by his spirit, is the obedience to his will. Hallelujah. Obedient to his word. The Bible says instruction in righteousness will lead us to the good life. Instruction in righteousness will lead us to prosperity. Instruction in righteousness will lead us to blessings and breakthrough in Christ Jesus. That instruction is God's word. Hallelujah. That instruction is God's word, brethren. What are you doing with the word? The word that you receive, what are you doing with the word? Are you acting on the instruction when it suits you? When it suits you, when it's easy, when it is convenient for you? Remember, Abraham, the instruction he received was not convenient for him. Hallelujah was not convenient for him. So it is when the instruction contradicts your natural belief, that is when we know who is a man of faith. When the instruction is not convenient for you to do, that is when we know who is a man of faith. When you can stand true to God's instruction, direction, even when it is impossible, when it is difficult, when it's not convenient for you. That is when we know who is a man of faith. Brethren in the Lord, God Almighty has given us his word to show us the way of salvation and how to live for him. It is only the proof you need, the only proof of your faith. Anyone can confess, I believe Jesus. Anyone can profess their faith in Jesus Christ. But what about the proof? The proof of your confession of faith is your obedience in good or hard time alike. It's your consistency 
in obeying his instruction. That is why the, 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 the message of my father love says, the relationship we maintain, maintaining the relationship when it is convenient and when it's not convenient, when it is good and when it's bad, when it's rainy or when it's shining, whatever situation you find yourself, being able to be consistent in your relationship with Jesus, prove your sonship, prove your faith, prove your dependability, in God's ability. So, brethren, in the Lord, God is merciful. He has given us everything. All we need to do is just believe. He has done everything for us. The only thing for you is only believe. Only believe. And the proof of your belief is in your obedience. To God's will. Hallelujah. So, brethren, in the Lord, open your heart to Jesus. Surrender to Him and let Him rule you. Let the Word be your rule and your principle. Let the Word be your guiding principle. The psalmist say, Your Word is a light to my path and a guide to my feet. That is, he's saying, the word is my guide. I live by the word. The word is my direction. I'm guided by the word. The word is my instruction. I'm instructed by the word. I am being led by Christ's word. That is total submission to God's word and God's will. May the Lord God Almighty bless his word in our hearts, in the midst of our hearts, in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray for every man, that man or woman, boy or girl, under the influence of this program, under the influence of this telecast, under the influence of this program, this minute, wherever they are watching from, I commit those that have committed themselves to you in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let your light of your word shine upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the light of your container shine upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the light of your face shine upon them in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, fill their hearts with your word. Open their hearts to your word. Open their hearts to your faith. Open their hearts to your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your light and your mercy speak for them. Lord Jesus, grant, in them, grant to them a hearing heart and an obedient spirit in the name of Jesus. Grant unto them a hearing heart and an obedient spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Grant unto them a hearing heart and an obedient spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, I bless your day. You're going out. You're coming in. Your way, your day, your time, and everything that has to do with you, I secure your life by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. I secure your day by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. I secure your morning by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, favor locates you. Mercy speak for you. Grace locates you in the name of Jesus. Today, your encounter shall be an encounter of blessing and breakthrough. I set you up for testimonies this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you in a special way. Dear us all over the world, thank you once again for your time. See you again tomorrow. We want to hear your testimony, your, uh, your experiences, your comments, your feedback, your question in the comment section. God bless you in a special way. See you again tomorrow. Before I go, I say good morning to all that has to do with you in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. Bye-bye. Shalom. See you.